Expo 6000 kit. It's a CL34. I chose a pretty reasonable kit because I have to run this demo six times today. I just, I wanted it to be solid just to demonstrate this feature, not to try to show how far you could actually push it. Um, so, uh, as you can see here in Ryzen Master, I have in the Expo field here, this button that says Activate. Uh, right now, as you can see through my tool here, I am running at DDR5-4800. Uh, uh, and um, the, um, um, I, I can demonstrate the performance using ADA latency uh, right here with a, a single run. And so this is going to be around probably 86 nanoseconds uh, based upon my history. And this is actually 87.4. Um, it's, not, it's not the best, but this is also, this is a JETIC kit running at JETIC speeds. Um, now I can go and activate my Expo profile, which is a 3000 CL30, uh, 6000 CL34 profile. Um, and you can see now that my residency into this P state is now the majority of the time and my JETIC state is zero. So I have transitioned that I can actually demonstrate that uh, with my uh, latency benchmark here. And I expect to see somewhere between 13 and 15 nanoseconds improvement. So I, I got about 74, so well, I was a little off on that one, no, but 13, 13, um, it's, it's a, it's, it, it, it demonstrates that, that it's actually improved my timing. Right. One click, so, no reset, no yeah, reboot. No, no reboot, no reset, and you can actually go here and tune this uh, using this and then apply and it will restart and retrain uh, that. So. Uh, I, I'm not going to demonstrate that capability today because I got to redo this again. Uh, but it does demonstrate the, the benefit and the, the usefulness of it. Now, uh, right now, uh, I've, since I've had this question several times today, I will go ahead and re I'll repeat it. Uh, eventually, you'll be able to see these transitions in tools like CPU Z and, and, and hardware info. Right now, they're statically reading the, the P state tables. So when you look at the memory frequency, even here on ADA, uh, it's not changing when I activate or deactivate that profile. So if I deactivate Expo, you know, you see this still says 3000, because it just read the P-State table when you mm -hmm. fired up the application. We're working with all of our uh, uh, third-party partners uh, to, to give them the capability to read that in real time and provide that information to you as well. So that's really the, the meat of this presentation. Um, feel free to ask some questions if you have any right now, or we can transition over to Amit showing Curve Shaper. Uh,